Wales is such a beautiful place when it's sunny. <laughs> It could be a pre-shoot hacker with Paul busting some moves in this stunning Welsh countryside. It's actually in aid of getting our wounded soldier's shoulder warmed up in readiness for Exocet partridges put on by James Davis Cook and his keeper Connor on the Gwisani shoot near Mould. Partridges are the star of the show, pheasants muddled in, off heather, fell, gorse, bilberry, some fairly fierce banks, good days. Yeah, good craft, good people. This is Paul's second trip to Kusani, and to ensure a decent peg, he tries to ingratiate himself with the locals. Come on, Wales. It works, and at breakfast he draws peg three. On a shoot of this quality, you're unlikely to be out of the shooting wherever you are. What is going to influence the number of birds coming down the line is the quality of the rest of the guns. So we could be in trouble. The first drive is one we've seen before. However, Paul, who is becoming well known for shooting a 410 these days, is shooting a 20 bore Rosini. Check it out. Yeah, Rosini BR220, 20, 20 gauge. So. Is that because of your shoulder you've gone light? <laughs> we'll see. I basically, I haven't done my exercises yet. You may laugh, but oh god. When's the last time you shot a 20 ball then? Four years ago. I shot a 20 ball for about three, four seasons. They might not get this back yet, this is only a lone gun, so it's after today. <laughs> There are a lot of birds intercepted by the Sparsholt Massive, James's mates from the Gamekeeping College, plus Welsh Olympic trap shooter Mark Potts. <laughs> We're on the end of the line, so you've got a guy who shoots trap or skeet for whales, and Ben, he can shoot well. Game farmer, Chappie, he can shoot really well, so any single birds. <laughs> not coming through, is that right? no. They haven't got a good chance. Yeah, basically it's a good shot, yeah. There is definitely a cocktail of guns in use here today, and maybe this is being echoed on other shoots around the country. Ben Hughes from Brimpsfield Park Estate in Gloucestershire has been using a 410, and the back gun on this drive is Dutch gun shop owner Jakob Konter. He is singing the praises of the bio ammo shell that he's found for his old side by side. The pellets are made a mixture of bismuth, zinc, and pewter, and you can fire it in the old side by side, or even in a tight choke, because the pellets are not as hard as steel, they are similar to lead. So you can use them in the old guns and shoot with tight chokes without a problem. Yeah, okay. So are you, you've had a, what, a season with these already? I started in very early this year in Holland with geese shooting, with it just tried my side by side, which I shoot for 35 years now, and shot geese with it and was happy. Yeah. So it's, very, good. it's a very good alternative to the, well, very expensive bismuth and it's also a good um, solution for all the old guns. Drive two and the guns are spaced out across a valley that acts like a natural partridge funnel. We get a bird's eye view of Mark Potts He's had a successful year on the clays. You know your way around a shotgun then? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Try and, uh, try and do as much as I can, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about your season. Uh, I know it's been good, so I shoot Olympic trap for Wales. Um, I had a quite a good season this year, so I've won the Welsh Open and the Olympic trap Homeless National senior trophies. So I've won all the senior trophies for Wales this year and the captain's trophy. So yeah, I've had a quite a good season this year, it's been good. Crikey, that's quite an achievement. When was the last time that was done? Yeah, uh, 1999 was the last time it was done with uh, an old shooter called James Burke Evans. 
So yeah, it's been a been a few years, but now it's been a good achievement. So it's been a been a good season being this year. Any targets for next year at all for the for the clay shooting? Uh, yeah, so we'll go back onto the Welsh team, do the selections again, uh, make the team hopefully again for the international, and work towards the Commonwealth Games if we can get it to happen. So just wait and see what happens. With that really. Back to the drive. Paul is having a blast and explains why a 20 ball is suiting him today and his plan B if the shoulder gives up. Very enjoyable, very and enjoyable. Got shooting as well. Totally, the full line got shooting and everyone was nice and selective, you know, shot the ones that are testing for them and uh, yeah, very good. Very good. How's the gun holding up? I love it actually, yeah. I think probably the biggest thing for me is not a big heavy long gun I've got to push around because everyone say to me, it's my left shoulder's a problem. They say, oh, oh, it's fine you shoot if you're right-handed. Actually, your left hand does more of the work because it's moving. I've been in the gym doing quite a lot of this exercise trying to get the muscles strength. Because it's amazing. This does all the work. This just pulls the trigger. If, for example, you had a tweak there, yeah. could you shoot off your other shoulder? Yeah, luckily for me, I, I trained myself when I was younger to shoot off both shoulders. But when I shoot off my left shoulder, I close my right eye. So I can actually do it, but I'm like aiming more and, you know, I, I can... Yeah, hold me out. Just for giggles. I think I just challenge. back to, a challenge again. You know, when I was younger, I think I was a fair shot. When I was sort of like twenty, I was you know pretty hot to be fair. And I used to do um, pigeon shooting in height. I used to shoot twenty-five off the right, twenty-five off the left. And as soon as I miss one, I'd, I'd go to the other side. You know, just just stuff like that. You know, just to keep you. And well, that could actually stand you in good stead if you have niggles. Definitely, yeah. And the other thing with rifle shooting, sometimes you get something that's back. So if you're shooting at the truck window at Vermin, you know, you're not perfect on the wing bear every time. Something moves round to the back, so it's a bit to the left, you shoot him. So yeah, it's quite good to train yourself a little bit. I think. Oh. Elevens is, is delicious, with plenty of game on the menu. A small snifter may be enjoyed while breathing in the Welsh weather, while it lasts. Ferrying us between drives is Ben Hughes. He has a sweet tooth and is keeping Paul's blood sugar levels in the red zone. He's someone else who enjoys watching and learning from other shoots he gets oh, to visit. Cherry. It is great to see it because it's you, you will always learn something in this game, whether that's driving partridge or just where the flushing points are. And you try and work, you've probably heard it from Paul already today, you try and work out exactly what's going to happen in a drive before it even happens when you, when you do stuff like we do. So uh, I was trying to put the puzzle pieces together as I was stood on peg there and then all of a sudden I had a massive covey of partridge above me and went well they did kind of what I thought they were going to now I had to pick one um, so yeah it was really really good enjoyed my day kids are fed with, with jelly tots and pillow um, so yeah thank yeah, you for that that's not a problem this car or anywhere I mean my kit bag isn't in here for the clays but yeah you only need to find me if you want Harry Bo <laughs> The last drive was our monster first drive last year, so we know what to expect. Paul actually changes shells for the occasion. We're on steel, David. Okay. So we were on lead this morning on the first two drives, and then change the chokes, and we're now on um, 28 gram fours. Yes, fours. Magnums. Any particular reason? Well, I thought we'd try them. Okay. Yeah. We obviously, on the shoot, we got we do a lot of duck days and have a lot of people come and they say they can't find anything um, good enough in steel and 20 gauge. So we got these, they're not cheap. Four shot, 28 gram, hydro wads. Here we go. Paul has enjoyed shooting the Rosini and mentions he met the gentleman who bought the last Rosinis we filmed him with on Frank Body's shoot. We had a pair of Rosini Regals, I believe, and that pair sold to somebody and they come to see me at the British Shooting Show and said they got the guns that were actually on the show. Yeah, that were on that, um, that film. So yeah, that was great. 
he's got a story with those guns. So wherever he goes, he says, oh, he's, these guns have been you know, shot and <laughs> filmed by David Wright. Filmed by David Wright, yeah. <laughs> Never missed. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, and it is, it's, for me, it is a tool, but also, you know, people do sort of like, you know, they cherish their guns. I mean, the guys today, what we talked about, we talked about the weather, but we talked about the guns a lot. The drive delivers outstanding birds. Oh. Paul and the guns select the birds that they're comfortable shooting. There's something for everyone here. Oh, yes. There's stuff from 25, 30 yards up to 70, 80 yards. It's whatever you want to shoot at. It's such a fantastic sport for everybody to get into and do. We're very lucky to have what we have and we should push for it as hard as we can. As we pack up, Paul puts on a new Sentinel Swazi jacket. The people at Swazi want to cater for the UK market and feel this lightweight jacket is ideal for game shots who don't want to lug around a heavy coat. My camera is not picking up the greenness of that, but it's like a pea green, isn't it? Yeah, olive green, I think it's called. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, Sentinel jacket, new lightweight jacket, uh, obviously waterproof. For me, it's perfect for this sort of thing, game shooting. I personally wear it only for waistcoat. Looks quite smart. Obviously not warm, but you have your layers underneath. So you're looking smart for the shoot day still. But you've got the waterproof and a good wind resistant layer. Which is easy, easy to take with you rather than a big lumpy coat. It's been a successful day on good quality Welsh partridges with some great shots. Thanks in part to the beautiful Rosini 20 bore, Paul's shoulder oh, is in one piece. If you'd like to buy this Rosini, you better be quick as there are already interested customers. To find out more about the Italian gun maker, go to the website of its UK distributor, ASI. If you want to keep dry on your shoot this year, check out the new Swazi range from your local stockist. And if you want to book shooting at Grisani, you're probably looking at next season. Contact James via Grisani Sporting on Facebook or Guns on Pegs.